بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about the causes and differential diagnosis of acute left lower quadrant pain. The most common causes of acute lower quadrant pain on the left side is diverticulitis, colon carcinoma, epiblower cavendigitis, pseudomembranous colitis, infectious colitis, and ulcerative colitis. Continuation of the common causes, also gynecological causes in female patient with adnexial torsion of the ovary, endometriosis, salvingitis, tubal ovarian abscess, uterine, uterine fibroid, and renal stones, and post-operative status of the bowel. Let us see the key differential diagnosis issues. Most etiology of the bowel are bowel origin. Most etiologies are of bowel origin, but consider genitourinary. Don't forget to check the mesentery and omentum. Contrast enhanced CT scan is the imaging modality of choice after a pregnancy is taken into account. Diverticulitis is the most common cause in middle-aged and elderly patient. It can also affect young patient as a 25 years of age. Usually long segment about 10 to 15 centimeter of wall thickening, luminal narrowing and pericolonic infiltration, Ex extra luminal collection of gas or fluid help to confirm the diagnosis. As we see here, axial CT scan patient with diverticulitis, we see mural thickening of the sigmoid colon and infiltration of the sigmoid mesocolon with gas due to pericolic abscess. Another patient with diverticulitis, or you see here, the sigmoid diverticuli or with abscess formation adjacent to the colon. And also three gas under the left rectus muscle. Colon cancer usually short segment without much pericolonic infiltration. Regional lymphadenopathy has a strong association with carcinoma and rarely seen with diverticulitis. Acute symptoms may be due to colonic obstruction plus minus proximal to the obstructed mass. Here we see patient with colonic ca cancer, sigmoid mass lesion causing obstruction and dilatation of the of the colonic proximal to it and the free intraperitoneal gas. Also the same patient with uh, with obstructed mass in the sigmoid with dilatation and a proximal colon with the free air with the free fluid and air noted. Epibluic appendigitis is a small oval fatty lesion about 2 to 4 cm with infiltration of the omental fat. Lies immediately adjacent to the colonic surface. Important 
to distinguish from diverticulitis as epiblowic meningitis resolved without specific treatment. Here, patient with uh, axial CT scan with uh, uh, epiblower cabingitis with the inflammatory mass lesion seen around the uh, inflamed epiblower. The mass it is ring shape, fat density with high dense ring. Pseudomembranous or infectious colitis usually diffuse band colic with impressive uh, colonic wall thickening, giving the appearance of a cordial sign, maybe segmental, including distal colon. Very common, especially in the hospitalized patient and those in nursery, nursing home. As we see here, Contrast enhanced CT scan with the mural thickening of the sigmoid colon associated with inflammatory changes in the brisacral region consistent with the pseudomembranous colitis. Another patient with um, uh, mural thickening of the sigmoid colon with uh, fluid with the fluid and due to pseudomembranous colitis and it is uh, due to cholesteridium deficit. Assertive colitis favors rectum and distal colon. Colonic wall is usually not uh, very thickened. Look for Hostile pattern, loss of hostile pattern, and infiltration of the pericolonic fat. Ask about history of a prior episodes. This patient with ulcerative colitis, as we see, marked thickening of the sigmoid colon with loss of hostilization. And this patient it has acute flare of a chronic ulcerative colitis. Gynecological causes of uh, acute uh, left lower quadrant pain, uh, many including adnexial infection, masses, dust, ovary endometriosis. Look for evidence of mass uh, and inflammation centered on adnexia rather than bowel. Uterine fibroid may be also dwarfs undergo degeneration or infection lead to acute pain. We have heterogeneous soft tissue mass within enlarged uterus plus minus classification within the masses. As we see here, axial uh, CT scan with contrast in a woman patient with enlarged ovary with peripheral follicles, consistent with uh, uh, torsion and ischemia, and you see lack of enhancement. Uh, this patient has uh, endometriosis, as we see here, soft tissue density adjacent to the sigmoid colon, and this can be simulating colonic cancer, but proving to be uh, endometriosis. Here we see a large mass in the uh, in the subsorosal patient with NT1 weighted images and it is uh, exophytic arising from the uterus heterogeneous large consistent with lyomyoma or fibroid. Renal stones or your lithiasis, uh, distal left uh, uretic storm may cause left lower quadrant pain, acute in nature. Diagnosis usually evident on CT scan. We see the calculus, hydronophosis, and benefic standing. This patient with the acute left lower quadrant pain, and we see here a radio stone in that mid distal ureter. 
associated with some validation of the of proximal to proximal to the aorta in this patient. Post operative status of the bowel following bowel surgery areas may result in bowel distension and pain. May seen just bowel distension on CT scan, but a small amount of peritoneal fluid is common in immediate post abortive status. Anastomotic site narrowing and pericolonic infiltration are also expected in the post abortive period. Less common causes, we have ischemic colitis, omental infarction, sclerosing mesenteritis, Crohn's disease, abscess, sigmoid valvulus, appendicitis, fecal infection, peritonitis, pyelonephritis, renal circarcinoma, renal infarction, um, Hemorrhage, hematoma of the anterior abdominal wall, hernia like spagillian and the inguinal hernia, and the blood of fistula. Here are some helpful clues for less common causes. Ischemic colitis, sigmoid colon is the second most common site for hypoperfusion induced ischemia representing with wall thickening and luminal narrowing. Ask the patient prior history of hypotensive episodes or cardiac arrest. As we see here, axial contrast enhanced CT scan, you see marked thickening of the sigmoid colon in a daily patient with acute pain and hematochesia. And this is a watershed area of the splenic and the uh, sigmoid colon. And it is most vulnerable for hypoperfusion type of ischemic colitis. Or mental infarction, primary mental infarction occur near the ascending colon. Secondary from any where near the surgery infection and radiation. Heterogeneous fatty mass larger than epibloic appendicitis, more than five centimeter, usually further removal from the surface of colon than for the epibloic appendicitis, usually resolved without a specific treatment. As we see here, this patient with acute left lower quadrant pain, uh, recent uh, colectomy with uh, fatty density stranding due to mental infarction. Sclerosing mesenteritis, it is a benign condition and uh, commonly cause recurrent abdominal uh, pain, usually poorly localized, causes misty mesentery with a cluster of jejunal mesenteric lymph nodes surrounding thin capsule. Often there is a history of similar prior episodes. May respond to steroid therapy or resolve on its own. As we see here, patient with sclerosing mesenteritis, you see dirty mesentery involving the jejunal mesocolon associated with the small mesenteric lymph node. Also, it is involved the mesocolon of the sigmoid. And you see here the capsule that is surrounding the mesenteric uh, sclerosing mesenteritis. Abdominal abscess, usually post-operative patient and following appendicitis or diverticulitis, as we see here in this patient, a patient with pelvic abscess or with the ring enhancement and proved to be tubal ovarian abscess in this patient. 
sigmoid valvulas, very elongated and dilated sigmoid colon, folded back on itself, giving the appearance of coffee, coffee bean or football sign or inverted U sign appearance. Colon proximal to sigmoid will be dilated, but not as much as sigmoid. CT will show a twisting of the vessels in the base of the sigmoid mesocolon. As we see here in the sibling abdomen X-ray, dilated sigmoid colon with valvulus uh, giving the appearance of the inverted U shape. Appendicitis appendix may be very long or may arise from the malrotated colon leading to left-sided symptoms. Fecal impaction, common but can lead to stercoral ulceration with erosion through the colonic wall. As we see here in this patient, patient with uh, fecal impaction in speciated feces associated with thickening of the sigmoid, rectosigmoid colon and inflammatory changes surrounding the uh, rectosigmoid appearance suggestive of stercoral uh, colitis with ulceration. Uh, renal cell carcinoma can cause also acute left lower quadrant uh, renal pain, as in this patient, large tumor mass involving the left kidney with, uh, with also infiltrate tumor extension to the left renal vein. Also, renal infarction, one of the causes of acute left quadrant lower vein, and this patient here, you see hypoperfused area in young patient due to renal ischemia due to vasculitis. Here we see also a patient with rectal sheath, with rectus muscle hematoma with active extravasation uh, due to and extension into the retroperitoneal region. And also patient with spagyrian hernia can cause acute left uh, quadrant uh, lower vein as we see here, defect in lateral to the rectus muscle on the left side. Also here, inguinal hernia can cause pain in the acute left lower quadrant in this patient with inguinal hernia extending to the scrotum. Uh, thank you very much for listening, hoping to see you again and hoping you like this video.